properly installed, the MPC flex rib seal is the most cost-effective permanent method to eliminate manhole frame chimney inflow. The flex rib seal can be easily installed in new or existing manholes without entering the manhole and without excavation. The grade adjustment area of the manhole is the first part of the structure to suffer from deterioration caused by freeze-thaw cycles, traffic loading, thermal expansion, and contraction of the surrounding pavement, dehydration, and hydration of expansive clay soils and other external forces. Installation times will vary depending on the manhole conditions and experience level of the installer. The actual time required to complete the seal installation, not including surface preparation, will range from as little as a few minutes to no more than 10 minutes per manhole. Even though manhole entry is not required to install the MPC flex rib seal, always follow proper safety procedures and regulations prior to and after assessing the manhole to perform the work. Either a manual or hydraulic band expansion tool is required to properly install the flex rib seal. Other tools and materials include the following. One half inch drive ratchet and torque wrench with one inch socket, if manual tool is used. Tape measure, wire brush, chipping hammer, margin trowel, angle tip pry bar, work gloves and safety glasses. Patching mortar, rubber gloves and water will also be needed if defects are found on the masonry surfaces of the manhole. It is important that the surfaces of the manhole behind the expansion bands be reasonably smooth, circular, and vertical and have no void areas or defects. Repair any defects using a non-shrink single component repair mortar designed for vertical application. The masonry surface of this manhole cone is acceptable and does not require any repair. To install the flex rib seal into the manhole, pinch or fold the rubber seal in the middle and place it through the frame casting opening. Open and push out the sides of the rubber seal so they contact the frame casting and manhole cone surfaces. Any excess rubber can be worked out by pushing and pulling the rubber to redistribute around the manhole. Properly sized, the rubber seal will stay in place while preparing to install the first band. Position the rubber seal in the frame casting so that the top expansion band recess is located inside the lower two inches of the frame casting and the bottom band recess is positioned on the manhole cone. Install one of the bands by collapsing it into itself with the slotted portion of the band overlapping the inside area of the band containing the locking latch. Then position the band in either the upper or lower band recess of the rubber seal. Position the installation tool into the expansion band with the slotted tip engaged in the first available jacking window and the pusher tip fitting into the depressions of the band so that it will contact the surface of the overlapping end of the band. Hold the installation tool firmly in place and expand the band until the recommended value has been achieved. Once tight, Slowly loosen the installation tool, making sure that the locking latch is fully engaged in one of the adjustment slots in the overlapping end of the band, and then remove the tool from the band. Install the second band in the remaining band recess. Position the installation tool and expand the band to the recommended value. Once tight, slowly loosen and remove the installation tool, making sure that the locking latch is fully engaged in one of the adjustment slots in the overlapping end of the band. This completes the installation process.